Hey guys, welcome back to J Heart Model Works for the final update on the Tamiya Jaguar XJ220 build. This one has been done for about a month now and I've been meaning to get this update out. However, the fire extinguisher build series took a while to edit and I wanted to get that out before releasing this video as that fire extinguisher was used in this car. I do currently have another project on the bench. That one is a surprise, so I can't let that cat out of the bag just yet. Uh, there will be a video on that once it has been delivered to its recipient though, so stay tuned for that. For now, let's go to the display booth where we'll have a 360 view of the car, talk some about the build, and we'll wrap this up with a slideshow of the build photos. But before we begin, please consider hitting the like button and leave a comment below. I enjoy your feedback greatly and try to respond to as many comments as I can. Also, if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell icon to be notified when I post new content. So welcome to the display case. It's actually a $45 Billy bookcase from Ikea. Smelly D's thrown in there. And this is who we've come to see. All in all, I think it came out really well. The paint is the Ferrari Verde Zeltwood Green from Zero Paints. And the interior is the Ferrari Interior Beige, also from Zero Paints, over UMP Primer. We have our working pop-down headlamps. Those came out really well. Although there is a tab in there, there's a little stick that goes through a hole. So when these pop down, that stick extrudes, and then when you want to put them back up, you just push the button, or you push the little stick up, and it push, lifts them back up. Lining that through that hole when you're mating this body to the chassis is an absolute nightmare. Our rear diffuser. Wheels came out really nice. Oddly enough, the passenger and driver's side mirrors are in different locations on this car. The driver's side is up on the front fender, while the passenger side is back on the door. I thought this was wrong, but I went and looked it up, and it's something to do with the A pillar, with the way that A pillar reaches down. They put the mirrors in different locations. There's a shot of our engine in here, lots of detailing done in here. And we come to our interior, where we can see the four-part harnesses came out really nicely. Sorry about the glare there. And if you see in here our fire extinguisher from the fire extinguisher build, that's where we put it. Can't really get too much detail in on the dashboard though, which kind of makes me a little sad. I did have some issues mating the body to the chassis uh, when I was putting it together. No matter really how I did this, the front and the back didn't want to go in at the same time. So what I ended up doing was I lined up the back and the sides so that the sides were even for the most part. And I super glued the, the sides in place. And then once the sides were super glued in place, I was then able to put some pressure on this front and push that up into place and glue it into place as well. If you see, that's this tab that I was telling you about. And that's the hole. So when you push this, these go up. And then you 
push me to, um, just touch the headlights and they pop back down. Now, when you're trying to mate this together, that can be very difficult to line up. I found if you look, I'm not going to be able to see it. There is a radiator in there. And what I found is if you angle the post ahead just a little bit, when you're mating it, it'll slide down the front of that radiator and just right into that hole where it needs to go. But that is our Jaguar XJ220. Got to be very careful opening this. So I added all the hoses, all the fuel lines. I was going to put a fuel filler in there with behind that fuel filler cap, a fuel line in there. I did not realize while I was mating it onto the body it broke off, and I just wasn't able to get it in after that. Uh, the body was already in place and I didn't want to break it loose. Uh, I did add that, I think that's either an oil or a coolant line, I'm not real certain what that fill is, but I added it in there with some photo etch. Lots of hoses, so lots of detailing there. But there we have it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. We're going to go ahead and move on to the slideshow.
All right, so that's going to wrap up the build video on the Tamiya Jaguar HK220. I want to thank everyone who stayed with me all the way through the video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.